I still don't know why they want to make five of these movies. I understand one, maybe three, but five. Yesterday, a wizard entered New York with a case. A case full of magical creatures. And unfortunately, some have escaped. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is directed by David Yates and it stars Eddie Redmayne, Catherine Watterson, Colin Farrell, Dan Fogler and Alison Sudol. So Eddie Redmayne plays this wizard, his name is Newt Scamander and he's a magic zoologist, basically means he goes around researching all these different magical creatures in the wizarding world and, and so he goes to New York for like a brief stopover to pick up like an, um, a certain specific type of uh, animal but he ends up swapping cases accidentally with and it's called a nomad which is basically the American version of saying muggle and then the case is opened and a couple of magical creatures get out whilst a few other things are happening on and the others happening on in the movie as well regarding Colin Farrell but that's pretty much yeah, a plot line. Fantastic Beasts is also written by J.K. Rowling, like the screenplay is done by J.K. Rowling, and I have, there are two things to say about the screenplay. The dialogue, it's really well written, I mean that's what you kind of expect from J.K. Rowling, really well written things, but another thing is that I thought the pacing was way off. I've, maybe sometimes it was the direction, sometimes it was the script, mostly I think it was the script towards the end, where the movie felt like it was wrapping up 20 minutes early and then it kept trying to wrap up for 20 minutes. But there are also times in the movie where the direction lacked too. For all the new characters though, I really liked Eddie Redmayne, he was really likeable, Catherine Watterson was a really interesting character, and Dan Fogler was also a really fun and likeable character to have around. But characters like Colin Farrell and Ezra Miller and Alison Sudol, they just felt like characters that weren't developed at all and they didn't, so I wasn't really as attached to them. And I felt like they should have been developed at least a little bit if we're even going to like have them around for the entire movie. I really like the chemistry too between the main four actors like Eddie Redmayne and his gang of witches and nomadges and the story was also really intriguing too because they took you back into this world and you started learning a bit more about it. I also thought the score by James Newton Howard it introduced, it was kind of like, it starts off very familiar to the classic Harry Potter, but then it kind of takes a, w a different turn, which I think is good, and I think this is really what a spin-off of a um, franchise should actually have as its score, something to keep you grounded to what it actually is tied to, but have being able to have it by itself at the same time. I would like to say that the movie was heartfelt as well, it wasn't like me crying or anything, it was just that when the movie tried to be heartfelt through times when it needed to, it was heartfelt and you kind of felt for the characters and it was at that stage where you, the characters that you were attached to, they really made you feel something. The action in the movie too, compared to the other Harry Potter movies where there's like always a big climactic action set piece, I feel like that hat is in this movie but there's a lot of like little other bits of action throughout with like catching all the beasts and I thought the action was really well handled that way. Fantastic Beasts and Where the Fly Them, it was really fun, it's really interesting, it was a good way for go to go back to the Harry Potter world and I definitely would recommend Fantastic Beasts. I will say Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, I'll have a side of fries with that. Have you seen Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Let me know down below if you have. What's your favourite Harry Potter movie? Let me know as well. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to become one of the Platter Pie and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh wow, you made it to the end of the video. Good job. How about you click that subscribe button for more content? Or click one of these two videos. You know, either one's good enough.